ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டி டாக் ஐ ஹோப் டுடே இஸ் எ குட் டே ஃபார் யூ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் எ ரியலி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக் இன் மெடிக்கல் ஃபீல்ட் தேட் இஸ் அபவுட் த கிரீனியல் நர்ஸ் பை தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் ஷுர் தேட் யூ வில் கெட் எ கம்ப்ளீட் ஐடியா அபவுட் வாட் த கிரீனியல் நர்வ்ஸ் ஆர் விச் நர்வ்ஸ் ஆர் மோட்டோ சென்சரி அண்ட் போத் அண்ட் த ஒரிஜின் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஈச் இன் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் இன் த இன்ட் I will give you some tips to remember each of them. So, first of all, we should know what the cranial nerves are. The cranial nerves are the nerves that originate from the brain or from the brain stem. There are mainly 12 cranial nerves in our body. Each are paired and present on both sides of the body. And they are numbered based on where they emerge from. That is from the brain or from the brain stem. from front to back that is from the cerebrum to the medulla fine they relay information to and from various parts of the body to the brain there are mainly two types of neurons that is afferent and efferent and combination also see afferent means they are the sensory stimuli they carry sensory stimuli to the brain fine then efferent efferent they carries stimuli from the brain to the muscles or some target sites so we can look into the each cranial nerve in detail first is the olfactory nerve from the name itself it says that its main function is olfaction that is smell and it originates from the cerebrum and it's a sensory nerve and uh, the second one is optic nerve it originates also from the cerebrum itself and the main function is the vision and it's also sensory nerve the third cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve which originates from the midbrain and it's a motor nerve and the main function is the eye movement it stimulates the eye muscles like superior rectus inferior oblique inferior rectus and medial rectus that is sim okay then also eyelid elevation and a pupillar constriction and for the lens accommodation then the fourth cranial nerve is the trochlear nerve it also originates from the midbrain it is also a motor nerve and it also helps in eye movement that it stimulates the superior oblique muscle then uh, we can skip into the sixth cranial nerve that is abducens okay mm, i will skip because uh, uh, the trigeminal nerve i am skipping Uh, because uh, the other three cranial nerves that is 3 4 and 6 it helps in eye movement so first i will say about abducens that is the sixth cranial nerve it helps in abduction okay that is the name abducens abducens it originates from the pondo medullary region it is also a motor nerve and uh, it uh, stimulates the lateral rectus muscle next is the fifth cranial nerve that is the trigeminal nerve which originates from the bones and it is both sensory and motor the sensory stimuli is for the facial sensations that is it is having three branches trigeminal nerve is having three branches that is v1 v2 v3 that is ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular branches and uh, it, it also having uh, sensations anterior to third of the tongue and the motor function on the muscles of mastication and also the mandibular branch uh, having motor function on masseter temporalis and the pterygoid muscle and next is the seventh cranial nerve that is the facial nerve which originates from the pondo medullary region it is both sensory and motor the sensory function is also uh anterior that is taste the sensation to the anterior two third of the tongue and uh, the motor function is for the facial expression and then eyelid closure salivation lacrimation that is tear secretion and next is the eighth cranial nerve that is vestibulo cochlear from the name itself it and uh, it says that vestibule and cochlea which are the parts of the middle ear and it is also known as auditory nerve and this originates from the pondo medullary region it is a sensory nerve and uh, it 
its function is balance and hearing next is the ninth cranial nerve that is glossopharyngeal nerve and uh, it is related to the tongue and pharynx it originates in the medulla oblongata and it is both sensory and motor fine and its sensory function is that taste sensations in the posterior one third of the tongue and uh, sensations of pharynx and the gag reflex is also responsible by the glossopharyngeal nerve and the motor uh, function is in the muscles in swallowing and salivation and the next is the vagus nerve which is the 10th cranial nerve uh, which name came from the vagrant because of its vagrant's wandering nature and it originates from the medulla oblongata it is both sensory and motor the sensory uh, function is that it carry sensations from the skin around ear then pharynx larynx thorax abdomen and taste sensations of the epiglottis then motor function motor function in swallowing speech cough then autonomic functions particularly parasympathetic nervous system and then effect it is having effect on decreased heart rate increased gi motility and sweating next is the 11th cranial nerve that is spinal accessory it originates from the medulla oblongata and the cervical spinal cord and uh, it is a motor nerve and uh, its main function on the shoulder movement by the function on the sternocleidomastoid muscle and uh, then head turning by the action on the trapezius muscle next is the 12th cranial nerve last cranial nerve that is hypoglossal and uh, it is having motor function under the tongue fine and it originates from the medulla oblongata so i hope you all got a clear basic idea about all the cranial nerves and uh, next i will uh, show you some of the mnemonics to memorize uh, the type and the names of the these cranial nerves fine and these are the mnemonics uh, to memorize the name of the cranial nerves which you can understand from the uh, through this note and this mnemonics helps you to uh, remember the types of the cranial nerves that is some says money matters but my brother says big brain matters more okay next i will show you a diagram phase diagram uh, which will uh, surely help you to uh, identify the, the functions of the cranial nerves uh, by their number the first one that is uh, represent one which represents the nose that is a olfactory nerve uh, which helps in smell and all then two that is a, a optic nerve which representing the eyes then um, three four six uh, helps in eye movements it's written over there then uh, then 5 and 7 that is trigeminal and facial nerves which helps in facial sensation and facial expression then 8th cranial nerve which is related to ear vestibular cochlea then 9th cranial nerve glossopharyngeal which is related to tongue and pharynx then 10th um, uh, cranial nerve which is vagus which is related to uh, the swallowing speech and all uh, so it's written over there then uh, 11th cranial nerve spinal accessory which helps in shoulder movement so that's all about cranial nerves i hope you all uh, enjoyed this video and uh, you understood all about this cranial nerves so it's my request that if you like my video don't forget to press the subscribe like and comment buttons it really motivates me so bye thank you